Well, here it is Monday, and I'd like to pick up on a verse we used Saturday. In our limited time, I did not get to make a major point. I think it's something the Lord desires us to confront and see. Remember the text, Psalms 119, 103. How sweet are thy words on my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. I've noticed that in my own walk with our Lord through the word, the Bible, the words are not always leaving a good taste in my mouth. There's sometimes that even though this word is sweet and even though it leaves a sweet taste in my mouth, there's also a bitter sweet. And I have people say, well, you can't have a bitter sweet. Hey, some of the things that I enjoy eating the most have a bitter sweet. One of the things that I like to eat is the salty sweet things. And so the word of God can be both sweet and bitter when we're not doing what it tells us to do or when we're not acting the way God tells us to act or we're not living the way God tells us to or doing what is in his will. You see, when I'm not doing and acting on the word and walking in God's will, the taste is bitter. And I know it. I know it. When the word of God does not agree with the flesh, I have a hard time swallowing its directions even sometimes. And even though it's sweet, I've got to incorporate it into my life to make it sweeter. And sometimes if I'm not incorporating the word of God in my life, there's a bitter taste in my mouth and in my spirit and in my soul. When the word demands that I disagree with the common consensus of the people of the world that want to make up the rules as they go along, it is sometimes a bitter truth to feed on. And I have all kinds of people, and we see people all the time. I don't know about you, but one of the things I hear the most right now is, is moving the goalposts. You've got politicians that are moving the goalposts. You do one thing, and they move the goalposts. You accomplish one thing. I don't know about you, but, man, I'm getting tired of moving the goalposts on the COVID. We're told one thing, and then they move the goalposts. We get it done. We move the goalposts. We do this. They say, well, the disease is changing. Well, that is true, but you don't get to move the goalposts. Truth is truth. Tell us the truth. Don't move the goalposts. The Word of God is forever non-negotiable. The word of God is absolute. It really bitter when the, it is really bitter when the world uh, goes against the word of God, and I have to choose the word of God. Sometimes it gets hard. The word I'm feeding on the Bible does not condone my sin. It's particularly hard to fight down and keep down when I'm sinning, and it's not condoning my sin, and it's not letting me rationalize my sin. But I think the hardest thing to get past. For not only me, but for all of us, is to not let the devil feed us the fast, unhealthy food of the world. You know, sometimes the devil just coats things with false sugar, with false sweetener, with artificial sweetener. And we, fought, we eat it hook, line, and sinker. You know, if you eat fast food all the time, you're not going to be healthy. If you feed on the fast food of the world instead of upon the Word of God, you're going to be in trouble. You see, the Word of God is not microwavable. The Word of God is not fast food. The Word of God takes time and effort and takes us to absorb it and to eat the way God tells us to and to live the way God tells us to. How long has it been that you have just sat down in the Lord's table and fed on the sweetness of His Word? The longer we are away from it, the easier it is to lose our taste for His honey. How long has it been since you sat down with the Word of God and just let it permeate your whole being, sweeten you? Go be sweetened. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for your Word and the sweetness of your Word. May we feed on it continually, and may it also push out the bitterness of the world. In Jesus' name we pray.